I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to isolate a variable. Now this is kind of complicated question. We are given y equals to 4x plus 6 divided by x minus 1. We need to isolate x. You can pause the video, try the question and then look into my suggestion. Now in such cases you should remember that we have a restriction that x is not equal to 1. To isolate x, we can cross multiply. So what we get here is y times x minus 1 equals to 4x plus 6. Now we can open the bracket. So we get xy or yx as you want to write. Let's write yx this time. Minus y equals to 4x plus 6. Bring x's together. right? So, so 4x is here. Let's bring this on the right side. And here we'll have minus y minus 6 equals to 4x minus yx. Now on the right side we can factor x so we get 4 minus y equals to minus y minus 6 and now we can write down what x is which is minus y minus 6 over 4 minus y. Correct? So what we get here is let me rewrite the expression on the right side which is x is equals to minus y minus 6 over 4 minus y, right? Let me take minus common in the numerator. So if I take minus common, I'll get y plus 6. Correct? And uh, here we get 4 minus y. You could also write this as y plus 6 divided by y minus 4. So that is another way of writing the same thing, which you could have got if you would have brought this on the left side, right? So so that was an alternate method. You could have got this answer. Well, this answer, this answer, both are exactly same, and they are all they're all correct. What I'm trying to show you here is that sometimes when you do this, isolating the variable x, you may get a different answer. But remember, they are the same things. The only difference here is working after this step. Let me show you this once again. So let me rewrite this. What we have here is yx minus y equals to 4x plus 6. If I get x to the left side, I get yx minus 4x equals to 6 plus y, right? Taking x common, we get y minus 4 equals to 6 plus y and dividing. We get x equals to 6 plus y divided by y minus 4. It's a good idea to write y first, so we'll write y plus 6 over y minus 4. Is it okay? So either way, you know, all these solutions are correct solutions, but they kind of give you an idea how to move the variables and the numbers around to get the required answer. Because at times, in multiple choice question, any one of these could be the choices for you. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.